And we're live. Hello, Word Nerds. Happy Sunday. I need to close my door. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, have, welcome to our write-in. It's going to be a good one. We are going to write some words. We will set amounts of time to write the words, and then you and we will hopefully write words, and then we will come back and talk about the words that we wrote and encourage you and <laughs> cheer you on. It's going to be great. There will be prompts uh, if you need them, but you by no means have to use them. Our prompts will be following the same theme as Thursday when I ran a write in. So they will be <laughs> themed around books that I read this month. <laughs> um, yeah, give us a shout in the discussion section. If you are here, let us know where you're viewing from. What are you working on? What's everyone else working on today? Um, I'll do what Emma did the other day, and we'll start from the bottom with Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, honestly, right, I haven't actually figured out what I'm working on right now, but right now my brain is still stuck on, right before we went live, Rachel was telling Aaron about, like, something she'd seen that had described itself as, like, lounge goth and how that's kind of Aaron's vibe, so I started, like, giving everyone else vibes in my head. Like, my <laughs> hidden darkness. Emma is millennial librarian. I haven't figured out everybody else yet. Yes. Yes. Oh, I'm excited for the I for love it. else. So that's what I'm working on today. Yeah. It's very important millennial stuff. librarian lounge goth. <laughs> <laughs> By the end of the chat, we need to put together a Google Doc or something. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, keep track of these things. It'll be uh, the new channel description. Just yeah. <laughs> amazing. It could be like the like the middle, like you know, like boxers go into the ring. It's like this is John, yeah. uh, you know, many hands, Smith or whatever, and then it's like we can just have that as our, our nickname. Yeah. I'm thinking about like Aaron is so clearly lounge goth, whereas then you look at Megan who's dressed in all these bright colors, and you're like, oh, there's some <laughs> there's hidden darkness. You can't just tell. <laughs> <laughs> well, we always describe her as cute, spooky. So whatever yeah. fits that vibe, you know. <laughs> My budget yeah. just, it doesn't allow me to fully upgrade into spooky cute. I feel like though you're you're on brand right now. Like you have a skeleton behind mm -hmm. you. Two, oh, yeah. two, two, two skeletons behind oh, you. Yeah. And yeah. you're wearing pastel with like adorable giant glasses. Like you are, <laughs> you're, you're brand on brand. He's, uh, he's reading Shirley Jackson. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, I have still in a box from when I moved. I need to get him out and find him a new home. Yes. <laughs> Just hanging from the shelf behind you. <laughs> yes. Although, one more note on the vibes, because every time I look at Kyra right now, it's still like, oh, you're a Cass. I have been mistaken more than once for Kira Cass at like writing events. So <laughs> are, so you're flattering. You I, I'm never sad. your own vibe. I just I cannot get past the Kira Cass. <laughs> the doppelganger vibe. <laughs> I need yeah. like the Kira Cass bow like on my bun. Oh yeah. yes. I used to do that a lot. I haven't done it in a while. Probably I was gonna I don't say I swear you alcohol. used to I used to wear both a lot more. <laughs> Yeah, because I remember when I first met you, I was like, wow, this girl looks like Kara Cass. <laughs> <laughs> we just need to get one that has like pastel purple skulls on it, and then you can be goth Kara Cass. <laughs> oh, yeah. perfect. Yeah. I have a bow with skulls on it. I will wear it next time. <laughs> perfect. Uh, um, that's what we'll do for Halloween this year. In our name right. descriptions will just be the vibes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So that's what Kelly's idea. doing during the ride-in. Is yeah. out the <laughs> what are you working on, Rachel? Um, I'm working on uh, school-related things, so I will be doing some readings and probably writing up a little discussion post for my medieval literature class nice. that I'm taking nice. this semester. Yeah, we just started learning about epics, so mm -hmm. I'm enjoying it so far. Yay, Anna. Um, I have some. Word nerd video clip things I need to edit. So I'm going to do that first. Nice. <laughs> if I have extra time, we'll see what I do with it. Yes. Kyra? I have recently finished a couple things. Um, so I am diving back into a project that I was drafting um, that I haven't opened this document for like two months. So I think the yeah. first part is just going to be me trying to remember what's even happening in this book. Nice. And uh, I have, like, I was just talking to 
to the Warner's earlier before I went on, I was kind of lost because I've already handed in my 50 pages to the writers group. So now I think I'm just going to be working on my like little travel journal and writing out some goals for 2021 and that type of thing. So nice. Mm. I'm going to be working on revisions because I'm going to be revising forever. <laughs> and, uh, I dropped some school classes this morning, so I don't have homework. <laughs> Uh, hello to everyone in the comments. Hi to Misty Kate. ATW is here revising their nano project. Um, LR Red said, it'll be my first time writing since nano. Just haven't been able to get back into it. So I need these sprints. Yay. Um, Vanessa is starting a new YA novel. It's also Misty Kate's first time writing since nano. Hello to Stephanie and Rain and, and Griswold. And Starlight Sapphire, welcome, welcome. We're so glad you're all here. Um, so like I mentioned earlier, this is a write-in. If you've never joined us for one of these, we are gonna set amounts of time and then we're gonna write or do something productive during that period of time. Um, there will be a prompt if you need one, but you absolutely don't have to use it. And yeah, if there's anything bookish or writing related that you want us to talk about, then uh, let us know in the discussion section and we will try to address it live. Um, my husband just brought me pie, so oh, no. it's gonna be my first sprint. <laughs> on, it, on a skeleton plate, the vibe continues. Oh my <laughs> gosh, amazing. <laughs> Perfect. The plate once the pie is gone. Yeah. <laughs> um, so the yeah, first is, the first sprint is going to be how much pie can you eat <laughs> in yes. 20 minutes. Just be like, oh. <laughs> um, let's open with a 15 minute, you know, do a little warm up ish, but still kind of long because it's, it's the evening. Let's do stuff. Um, so yeah, we'll start that at the 40. And again, our prompts are all themed around books I read this month. So the first prompt is well met your character realizes the person they're talking to isn't who they claim to be. Um, and also, as I mentioned in Thursday's write-in, these prompts are all basically just the premises of these books. Um, so yeah, super creative there. Um, I just put that prompt in the discussion section. See, now I'm just thinking about like piting competitions and how we should maybe just call them food sprints. Food sprints. <laughs> All right, I'm setting up the banner. Now I want pie. No, oh, unfortunate. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> What kind of pie did you say? Key remember. lime. Oh, right. Oh, baby. Mm -hmm. That's very good. Another pie. Oh, so my pretty. God. Oh, what a beautiful <laughs> shot. <laughs> so pretty. Oh, had to make it look good for the social medias, you know. Mm -hmm. I didn't make it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And it's time. Let's write. Uh, check in at the 55.
and time. How did it go for everyone? Good. I made it to page four of Aaron's pages. So nice. Of what pages? Your book. No, I was yay. I thought that, but I didn't want to assume that's what you said. <laughs> that makes me very happy. <laughs> I don't remember anything that's happening in this book. I haven't worked on it too much. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, the main characters are. I'm, uh, yeah. I'm working on a rewrite of a scene that it's a scene that's been in place for a really, really long time. But the foundation is gone now, so it has to be rewritten. And <laughs> so I spent most of the chat just copying over what I've got and deleting what I can't keep. <laughs> Ugh. Edits are the worst. Yeah. But I, I was waiting. Like... <laughs> I was waiting for some things to download for my videos. And so then I read instead of writing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's better than I didn't kill. I'm rereading it because I never finished the rest of the series. So mm. Ooh, highly recommend the third. Yeah. The third book gets like super wild. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> I wrote down one timeline for Michael, so yay. <laughs> First I thought you said for Michael, and I was like, who's Michael? <laughs> <laughs> I am writing out goals for all of your husbands. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that's fine. Yes. <laughs> um People are letting us know how they did in the discussion section. Stephanie got 345 and said, I'm so close to finishing my book, but I really don't want to kill off a character who needs to die. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Um, LR Red got 227, ATW 398, and Griswold 1 handwritten page. Jada said, tuning into you for the first time in a while and immediately got guilt and went and got out the book I am revising. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Um, Rain got 293 and Vanessa 111. Good job, everyone. Um, let's jump right into the next sprint at the hour. Um, Ambitious, I like it. Yeah, mm -hmm. just be in the zone. We'll do a 20 minute sprint this time and uh, we'll do one sprint after this upcoming one. So three sprints in total. Um, and Griswold asked what book inspired that prompt. It's Well Met by Jen DeLuca. Um, it's the second in her series, I believe. Um, I hope I didn't just mess up the titles. There's Well Matched and Well Met and Well Played. And I think Well Matched is the one that isn't out yet that I'm really excited for because <laughs> it's about a character I really want to see fall in love. Um, <laughs> But yeah, they're all Renaissance Fair themed romances. <laughs> oh my fun. God. Oh, I might have to check that out. Yeah. Um, I think I read the first one. Yeah, I liked the, this. Great. I know not everyone felt this way, but I liked the second one a little better than the first one. Okay. Um, some people were obviously passionate about the pirate in the first one. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I thought I'm the get out, uh, added on Goodreads in the part. Uh, first part of the tagline line is all's fair and love and war, but fair spelt like Ren Fair kind of thing. Yes. Yeah. It's adorable. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, like we mentioned earlier, all of the prompts tonight are themed around books I read last month. And you don't have to use the prompt, but it's there if you want it. Um, so the next prompt is the Midnight Library. Your character tries a new approach to achieving their goal. I want to read that one so bad. <laughs> This is good. So yeah. Good. Sometimes it felt a little cheesy to me, but it was still like I yeah. felt really good after I finished it. There <laughs> so. were a little bit cheesy parts, but it was like a really easy thing to get into. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, I think it is becoming like the new Rachel. For me, Rachel was always like, oh, Rachel read every book, but now Megan has read every book. <laughs> I know I'm in a big reading slump. I have to catch up. <laughs> I will not catch yeah. up with Megan. <laughs> yeah. I think you're reading reasonably. I, I was just on fire. I was trying to hang in there for a bit and I officially gave up. <laughs> <laughs> I've slowed down, but I had such a good start that uh, 
And to put it in perspective, I think I've read like 12 books this year. Yeah. So. <laughs> and I gave up with trying to keep up with it. Well, and now you've dropped those pesky classes so you can get back to what I you know. Yeah. Yeah. I'm down, but now I've got more time. Um, and with that, it is go time. We'll talk more about books after this sprint, probably. It's 20 minutes, so check in at the 20. Good luck.
in time. How was that one for you guys? Sigh. <laughs> <laughs> I finished listening to a lecture, so. Nice. Good, yeah. I doodled, so. Solid. <laughs> Excellent. I answered an email, which took way too long, and then got back into Aaron's pages and had the debate of, is this common to nitpicky? I don't know. So did that one. <laughs> Never nitpicky. Nitpick away. Apologies if I have like a slight fan noise in the background. It won't be here for the rest of the chat. But I realized that I have some of this scene on my Alpha Smart. <laughs> which will only connect to a computer if I start the computer from powered off and I can't power off this one. So I powered off my really old laptop and it's like, why? Well, I, I thought we were done. <laughs> At least that explains I looked over and you're on the floor, I thought. And it wasn't really true. <laughs> I didn't want to look like too pretentious being like on the computer holding a computer and an alpha smart. <laughs> Need all the things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm often on these chats with my laptop on my lap, which feels very odd, but. <laughs> <laughs> We've got in the discussion section, ATW got 794 and has finished a for the words quest. Rain got 436. K wrestler is nearly done with an assignment. Lauren 552. Stephanie 384. And Griswold almost two pages handwritten. And LR Red got 228. Way to go, everyone. Um, so we'll probably start our last sprint of the night at the 30. Give people just a little bit of a break, unless you guys are feeling really like, let's do this. Break is good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to talk about more books that Megan's been reading. Yeah. <laughs> Shame the rest of us. <laughs> and, uh, our next prompt is going to be The Dead in the Dark, which is a book that I'm going to finish reading tonight. Um, that sounds amazing. Yeah. yeah. It comes out in like July or August, I think. And it's very good so far. Oh, is that the one you were talking to us about? Yes. Yeah. That's mm. really good. It's really fun. I've been enjoying it. It's kind of like if you enjoyed like Sawkill Girls or Ghost oh, Song yes. or. Okay. You said The Dead in the Dark. That's what it's called? Yes. Okay. I'm writing it down. Intrigue. A and a supernatural force called the dark. So. <laughs> oh, interesting. Oh, I already had it on my TBR. Perfect. Yes, I mm. talked about it in our mm. New Year's one that it was on my list, and then I got approved for the ARC uh, like a week ago. Hell yeah. Uh, I wonder who the cover designer is, because something about it looks really familiar. It looks just like the Courtney Summers Sadie cover. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> yes. Oh, it's yeah. like... It's very different, but stylistically, it looks the same. Mm -hmm. And this is all from you guys. Mostly <laughs> <laughs> <That's> Megan lately. <laughs> yeah, the, the prompt is actually the thing that I really like about the book, um, which is it's themed around the parents, because the parents in this book are like actually doing things. And I don't know everything that they're doing, but I'm very curious about what they're doing. Like the parents are acting like they are the main characters. Interesting. <laughs> I like that idea. And the daughter is like trying to do stuff and she's like, hey, maybe can you guys like tell me a little bit because I'm feeling threatened and kids are dying. And they're like, it's fine. We'll take care of it. And then we will tell you once we have taken care of the supernatural force. Yikes. <laughs> Not a huh. <laughs> Well, uh, Real good. But yeah, it's very fun so far. I've been reading a lot of ghost books with strong vibes this mm -hmm. last year. Oh, also a big recommend for Ghostwood Song, um, which is already out now. If you're like, I want to read something ghosty and that has a good setting and immersive world that is already out, Ghostwood Song by Erica Waters. Very good. 
I have read two books this year. <laughs> so yeah. That is two better than nothing. <laughs> Did you say the audiobook was good of that one too, Ghostwood Song? Yeah, I listened to the yeah. audiobook of it. it yeah, I have, that's on my list for audiobook purchase. Yeah. What two books have you read, Emma? They were both audiobooks. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, it was Daisy Jones and the Six and um, The Inheritance Games. You have that was Kelly Rex for me. Yeah, they're both Kelly audiobook Rex. <laughs> <laughs> the Inheritance Games, like I felt like it came out and some people were kind of like, hey, it's this new thing. But like I kind of glossed over it. And just recently, it's all over TikTok, it's all over BookTube. Like you can like, recommended it. So like apparently yeah, it's I hadn't great. heard of it, even though it's an author I follow, like I generally follow, and then it turned up on the Goodreads. Yeah. Words. I had like I had heard of it and kind of was like aware of what it was about and stuff. But then when Kelly was reading it, I was like, okay, I'm going to read this now. It was enjoyable. It felt more like classic YA than stuff I've read in a long time, which was mm -hmm. fun. Okay. Okay. Yeah, cause I don't think I knew what genre to put it under because I thought that it was fantasy based on the title. But then someone's like, no, 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 it's a contemporary. But then it's very like, yeah, it's like mystery. Fantastical. I'm like, I don't know. Okay. I don't know what's happening. It's not really fantastical. No? Oh, okay. It's okay. Like a mystery. I think the cover just feels a little fantastic. Yeah, yeah it does. <laughs> it's very like knives out. It is. Uh, yeah. Okay. I was a very. Good I might have to. I might have to read that one. I might yeah. be. I might be allow myself I mean, to lead into reading that. Eccentric billionaire has too much time on his hands. Is a pretty good. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and um, for hot boy love and kiss. I didn't realize it was going to be a series. So oh, like, no. oh it is. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, like the main mystery is like semi solved, but like there's still some like questions and like and it opens up more questions right at the end so mm -hmm. so it does have like a resolution but there's like more you want to know gotcha mm -hmm. hmm. i just finished reading lore by alexander bracken mm -hmm. yo guys it was so good oh, i really? i loved it i thought it was like action-packed non-stop <laughs> like I mean, and of course, I love a good like Greek mythology retelling, so I highly recommend that. I put my shelves somewhere. <laughs> hmm. Oh, and Griswold in the comments said that you just finished reading Beowulf, and I'm like, I have to read that very soon for class. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's a feminist translation of the story. Interesting. Ooh. Maybe I will read that after the one that I have mm -hmm. to read. I think I have to read like a Healy or Heatley or something like that. Like that's the author for that translation. <laughs> Uh, Misty K asked what the book was. It's The Inheritance Games. Oh, Megan just put it in the chat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's by um, it's by Erin Bowman. No, no. Uh, Jessica Lynn Barnes. Jessica Lynn Barnes. Jennifer Jennifer Lynn Barnes. Barnes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we read uh, her serial killer book once, yes. right? Yeah, um, we did for a long time ago. Book group. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh my gosh, was that the, oh. the Naturals? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah the oh natural. my god, that was the first book that I was ever here for. Like, that was <laughs> yes! The first book her book club. Oh my god, yeah. that's so cool. Okay, I'll have to read that one. Books. I like always meant to read the rest of the series and I never did. I um, want to read the rest of the yeah. series. <laughs> I, where I, like, I wanted to read more, but like my library didn't have them and I never got around to like buying them or anything. Yeah. And so I never finished it. I did read them and I really enjoyed them, but it always bugs me that there was like four of the, no, there was five of those like brainy kids and only four books. So that just the no. balance never oh, like, yeah. worked out. No. no. I feel like I have the second one on my shelf. Like so many times I do this where I'm like, I'll buy the mm -hmm. second one because I enjoyed the first, but I'm not like eager enough to get into it that I mm -hmm. keep putting other things ahead of it. Yeah, I'm uh, challenging myself this year to read the sequels that I have because I tend to be like so excited about the first book that I'm like the sequel comes out like I'm, I love the first one and I buy the sequel but I don't remember enough about the first one to get to the second one but I'm like I don't want I don't have time I don't want to reread the first one and then I have all these sequels that I've never read so I'm like I need to you know, like, like, I'm rewriting the rewreading the Bear in the Nightingale yeah because <laughs> I never read the sequel yeah, yeah, I'm good at it. redoing yeah. it <laughs> with yeah. those I started just being like I might not remember the first book, but I'm just gonna read the sequel yeah, anyway. I, exactly. yeah, I, I just go. I, I think it's. I think it's like YABooksummaries.com or something like that, or yeah. like plot summaries. It's a. I don't remember what it is, but it's like a YA blog that does the like almost like chapter by chapter summaries of books. Mm -hmm. And I just started doing that. I actually did that before I read um, Sky Beyond the Storm, the Savage Hears fourth one. Because I was like, I have, I do not remember what happens in that series. Mm -hmm. So I just like went to there. <laughs> it was like, what happened in this book? What happened in this book? Great, we're ready to ready to go. <laughs> I also have to say thank you to Stephanie Zello for the in the middle of Witches of Action Ruin shout out. 
Yay! Uh, I'm so glad you like it so far. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> All right, and with that, it's go time. Um, let's do the 10 minute sprint for this one. 10? Yeah. 10 minute cooldown good. sprint. Uh, prompt number three, the dead in the dark. Your character's parents have or had a secret. Uh, yeah, so check in at the 40, good luck.
And that's time on our last sprint of the evening. <laughs> How did that go for everyone? <laughs> I got chips at the end. <laughs> Perfect. <Ooh. laughs> At one point for me it looked like because i have you guys on one side of my screen and then when i'm working on the other and anytime megan moves i look over and so i look and it looks like she's staring right at the skeleton and like her head's bobbing a little so to me like my brain went, she's talking to that skeleton <laughs> i've been caught <laughs> that's her brainstorming partner skeleton <laughs> he has the best ideas <laughs> uh, well, be sure to let us know how you did in the discussion section. Um, K Wrestler is only like a paragraph away from being done with this assignment. Finished my manuscript earlier today, so feeling great. That's amazing. Wow. Good job. <laughs> Stephanie got 306, had to stop to emote because my MC is breaking my heart. Oh, oh. <laughs> emote. <laughs> that. It's an important part of the writing process. It is. It is. Yeah. Necessary. Yes. Um, right before we started the last sprint, LR Red said, this has nothing to do with anything, but my friend is a digital artist and did cover art for my work in progress. Super hyped about it. And now it's motivating me to finish. That's awesome. so cool. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. I know it's kind of been a little bit more, I don't know, so I guess something more visible online lately of, of like, for example, if a, a publisher does a cover reveal on their Instagram or something. And it's, you know, or they tag the author and that's, or like they tag like any of the imprints, so like that's kind of it. And like cover artists haven't been really getting a lot of publicity. And so just recently there's kind of this new wave I've noticed of artists or graphic credit, designers yeah. being like, credit us when you post, you, when you post stuff. So I started following a bunch of them online. I'm like, oh, you're the person that did like this one and this one and this one and this one. Like, oh, wow, let's, you know. And sometimes you can kind of tell by style, but sometimes it's very different. So it's kind of nice to be like, oh, I have new people to watch out for and follow. And I guess tag in my own uh, posts if I do like a review post or something. Mm -hmm. I had to rush finish my pie because I want to wipe off the plate and show it to you guys. Food <laughs> sprint. Yes. Yeah, it's like Kelly at the end of that last sprint. <laughs> Mm, pie. You know, wipe it off real quick. Pie. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's these little skeletons out walking a skeleton dog. Oh, I love it. It's cute. It's so cute and macabre. <laughs> yes, I got it at Home Goods during Halloween time. And ah, yes, yeah, the best time to go. The best shopping time. Mm. Yeah, shopping time. <laughs> like uh, right after Halloween. That's like the sweet spot because you get all the mm -hmm. cute, creepy stuff for half mm -hmm. off. The illustration reminded me a little bit of Edward Gorey. Yes. Mm. Like, yes. Mm -hmm. Illustrations. Yeah, it's so good. I have like a big book of those and I came in the room the other day and my toddler was like flipping ah. through them. <laughs> well, he, there is kind of like a children's book. Which, yeah, the ones I have, it's a compilation of like his ABCs. One. Yeah, mm -hmm. horrifying children's book. Yeah. <laughs> oh wait, was uh oh no, what's it called? The uh the gastric yeah. round tinies. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. I actually that was actually part of one of my assignments in uh, a children's literature class that I took last semester. Cool. Yeah, because we were talking about um like theme and age and um uh, like age branding. And so that particular book was like, where do you put that? And like, what was it meant for? Like, what audience was it for? Um, like, how can it transcend age bands? Uh, it was, yeah, it was a really cool assignment. But reading that for the first time, I was like, oh, this is dark as hell. <laughs> so the, the F to sleep book. There's nobody, yeah. like, as far as I know, reading it to their children, but like mm -hmm. adults like it, right? Like yeah. so the, the 
uh, D is for dead because he's poisoned or whatever. Like the mm -hmm. this is not a children's book, but yeah. I always like it. So, it's a book for the child who has just realized his <laughs> mortality. <laughs> Perfect. Apparently, Edward Gorey didn't like really didn't like children. He was a weird, <laughs> reclusive dude. So <laughs> weird. <Amazing. Surprising. laughs> He just sported a fur coat wherever he went to. Like, wow, what a style so, icon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. All right. Well, I think on that note, we're going to wrap it up because we've been going for a little over an hour now. Thank you so much for joining us, everyone. Um, we've had a lot of fun today. We are going to be back next week talking about Bly Manor. I think. No. Yes. yes Bly yeah. Manor. Uh, oh. What we have on the calendar. It's what we're going with now. <laughs> <laughs> no, for a second, yeah. I was like, "Wait, is that next month?" <laughs> um, I just know yeah. Kelly said two weeks for Bly Manor. <laughs> so uh, yeah, next week we're going to be talking about the haunting of Bly Manor, the TV series. So if you haven't finished watching that yet, definitely watch that. Um, or start it. <laughs> or start it. Yeah, <laughs> go watch it. <laughs> yeah, there are nine episodes. Um, so it's definitely very watchable. If and it's you watch so bingeable. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it's going to be so much fun. That is our, our movie pick for this quarter is Bly Manor. And uh, we've also got a chat on Haunting of Hill House that I'll probably put up on my next video day that we pre-recorded. Um, yeah, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, if you like our content, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Um. LR Rights is asking if we will do any more sprints later in the day like this. And we do them quarterly. Um, and a lot during, right? We do uh, write ins once a month. Once a month, even once better. And then usually our weekday ones are earlier in the day, but our Sunday ones are always at 7 30 p.m. Eastern. Um, so, yeah, we will be back at this time. Um, good catch on that question. Um, and yeah, so we're going to wrap things up now. Thank you so much for watching Word Nerds. We will see you Tuesday and Thursday with our regular videos and Sunday again when we are live. Bye. Bye. <laughs>